Hello everybody. Today we're going to go over lesson 6.4, model with bar models. Our essential question is how can you use bar models to solve division problems? We are on page 231 of the third grade Go Math textbook. So let's go ahead and get started. Unlock the problem. A dog trainer has 20 dog treats for five dogs in his class. If each dog gets the same number of treats, how many treats will each dog get? So let's circle some important information. We know we have 20 dog treats and we have five dogs. We need to find out how many treats will each dog get. All right, so activity one, we can use counters to find how many are in each group. So you can use real counters like we did yesterday. You can use a math board if you have one. And you can just also just use the paper here. So use 20 counters because there's 20 dog treats and draw five circles on your paper or the math board. And we're gonna place one counter each at a time in each circle until all 20 counters are used. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, so there are four counters in each of the five groups. A bar model can show how the parts of a problem are related. So here we have 20 dog treats. We have five bars. Okay, so the five bars represent the five dogs. But well, we just said that each dog will receive four dog treats four, eight, 12, 16, 20, right? So each dog gets four. As far as a division problem, it was 20. That's our dividend. We had 20, and we're dividing by five groups. And that gives us a quotient of four. 232. So draw to find out how many equal groups. Again, the dog trainer has 20 dog treats. If the dog trainer gives five treats to each dog in his class, in the class, how many dogs are in the class? So we still have 20 dog treats, but this time rather than five dogs, we're going to give five treats to each dog. So here, let's list the 20 counters or 20 dog treats and circle groups of five. The circles will tell us how many dogs there are. So circle groups of five. Okay, so I see four groups of five. Now if I was using a bar model, I know that each dog is getting five treats. Well I can count forward by fives to find out how many dogs there are. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. You see that we have four bars, so there are four dogs in the class. So the division problem on this one would be twenty divided by five equals four, where 20 is the dividend, five is the divisor, and four is the quotient. And so that's what we're doing here. We're, if we were writing that as a division problem again, it would be 20 divided by five equals four. The total amount that you're sharing is the dividend. The amount that you're sharing the dividend with is the divisor. The quotient is the number of groups or the number of objects that each thing receives. You will also see the division problem written this way. 20 divided by five equals four. All right, and that's how you read the problem. 20 divided by five equals four. So if we were gonna complete this picture, find 12 divided by four. Okay, so you notice that we're circling groups of four. So in this problem, 
we're finding how many groups of four. We would have three groups of four. If I was doing a bar model, it would be 12 of something, and each bar would be worth four. Four, eight, 12. So we see that we have three groups, three sets of four. Okay, 233. Write a division equation for the picture. All right, so I see six total. That's the dividend. Sorry about that. Six is the dividend. There are six counters. And then there's two ways I could write the divisor. I know that there's three groups. And in the three groups, there's a total of two. Or I can start again with six. And I could say, okay, well, I know that there's two in each group. So there are three groups. Okay, again, six total. If I was trying to find out how much was in each group, I would divide by three groups, and that tells me that there's two in each group. Or I can say, well, okay, I see that there's two in each group. So six total, divide by two in each group, I have three groups. Number three, I see 10 total counters. And again, I see two groups, which means there's five in each group, or 10 total, divide by how many is in each group. There's five in each group for a total of two. Okay, you'll notice that these are basic math facts, right? A division problem can be written two ways. The factors three times two or two times three, both equal six. All right, write a division problem for this one. I see six, 12, 18. 18 divided by three groups would give me six in each group, or 18 divided by six, because there's six in each group, would give me three groups. And number five, eight, 16, 24, 32. 32 divided by four groups would give me eight in each group, or 32 divided by eight in each group would give me four groups. All right, make equal groups to find the quotient. Draw a quick picture to show your work. 20 divided by two. All right, so I have 20 counters, and now I need to divide by 2. Well, I could say that there's two groups, and so there's 20 divided by 2 equals 10. Okay, because there's 10 in each group. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 20 divided by 5. All right, so we have 20 divided by five. So I can put five in a group or I can have five groups. I'm gonna put five in a group. All right, so 20 divided by five would give me four groups. 27 divided by nine. <clears throat> All right, 27 divided by 9. 
All right, so if we put nine in each group, there's nine. There's another set of nine. And there's a third set of nine. So 27 divided by nine is three. 18 divided by three. All right, so there's 18, and we need to put them in groups of three. Eighteen divided by three. I wound up with one, two, three, four, five, six groups. Eighteen divided by three is six. All right, so there are twenty-four books in four equal stacks. How many books are in each stack? So we see twenty-four here, and we're going to put four equal stacks. One, two, three, four. So twenty-four divided by four equals what? So I'm going to go ahead and draw um, four circles. And I'm going to share 24 into each of the one, 24 books into the four circles. Four, eight, 12, 16. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh, okay, so there's there's going to be six. So four groups of six. So this division problem is 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Or 24 divided by 6 equals four. All right, how about number 11? There are eight matching socks. How many pairs of socks can you make? Well, we know that this has to have a total of eight. Two, four, six, eight. So eight divided by two equals four, okay? So if we divide our eight pairs of socks by two, because there's two socks in a pair, you get four pairs. All right, 234. Pat bought one box of chew sticks to share equally between his two dogs. Mia bought one box of chewies to share equally among her five dogs. How many more treats will each of Pat's dogs get than each of Mia's dogs? And explain. All right, so. One box of chew sticks with two dogs. One box of chewies for five dogs. So let's put Mia here. And let's put Pat here. All right, Pat bought one box of chew sticks. So there's 14 chew sticks in a box, and he has two dogs. Well, we can represent his two dogs with two circles and share the two sticks one at a time until we've shared all 14. All right, so that's five, that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so 14 divided by two, seven. His dogs get seven do treats each. Mia. On the other hand, bought one box of Chewies, and so that was 25 to share among her five dogs. So she has one, two, three, four, five dogs. That's what the circles represent. And she has 25 dog treats to share. So put one in each box or circle until you've used all 25.
4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So hers is 25 divided by 5 equals 5. So how many more treats will each of Pat's dogs get? Two more treats. Pat's dogs get seven treats each. And his dogs get five treats each. Seven take away five equals two. All right, 13. Kevin bought a box of puppy chips for his dog. If he gives his dog five treats each day, how many days will one box of treats last? So five treats to each dog. He bought a box of puppy chips. Puppy chips is 45. So we could use a bar model for 13. And we know our total has to be 45. And he's gonna give his dogs five treats each day. So we can just skip count by fives until we get to 45. That'll tell me how many days. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So how many groups of five do we have? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine days the treats will last. All right, now write and solve a problem. Oh, by the way, this one, 45 divided by 5 would be the division problem, and it equals 9. Write and solve a problem for 42 divided by 7. Okay, so... All right, so I made 42 cookies. I need to have 42 of something. And I'm giving away seven of those objects to someone for something. So how many friends got cookies? And 42. Divide by seven equals six. So six friends. And last, Ed buys five bags of treats. He buys 15 treats in all. How many treats are in the bag? So he has five bags. Okay. I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to keep sharing them until I've used all 15. That's 10. All right, that's 15. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Each bag contains three treats. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. So there's five groups, and in each group there are three. Okay, so that's it for lesson um, 6.4. The next time we meet, We'll be going over uh, 6.5. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.